Hi everyone, I am Shivani and uh, we are going to discuss topic about general rules and characteristics of the flowcharts. Chapter 5 So the contents are uh, like general rules of flowchart and uh, flowchart benefits and uh, characteristics of flowchart. General rules uh, Here uh, flowchart rules that are uh, they always uh, they have to format uh, flowchart from left to right or top to bottom and uh, run the written lines written lines should be uh, under flowchart and uh, they uh, do not overlap make sure that they do not overlap and maintain uh, consistent space in between the symbols and uh, use the correct symbols for each step like uh, we will use decision uh, for uh, diamond shape and a process for rectangulars and all etc and uh, however uh, we can see today many high quality flowcharts have found uh, ways to use all caps without occupying too much space yeah and uh, we have we also have an example like uh, a simple not example but it's just uh, uh, showing the uh, rules uh, in that so uh, previous uh, uh, consistence like uh, make an edit like if you make an edit then next step would be if if it was edited further or not if yes it will go to the new one if um, if yes it will go to the next step that is you want to change it or not if no it will go to the new one and uh, if you want to agree with the new changes like uh, to that then if you agree with it it will go to new it will if you disagree with it it will compress that uh, video or anything it, it will compress it and it will go to the uh, make and edit like it will implement there and benefits of flowchart benefits of flowchart uh, uh, here flowchart uh, is a very large area of requirement uh, to present a stepwise process it uses uh, like highly uh, in education or uh, industries or uh, medical uh, business strategy planning and many more fields etc so as per this high requirement of uh, flowchart uh, like we have a list of benefits uh, that becomes very big but here we are trying to maintain a list of uh, benefits of flowcharts they are uh, first one is communication communication is uh, uh, if flowcharts uh, are the best way to represent communication of all logics of a system to all concerned here uh, and next effective analysis by using this flowchart distant problems can be analyzed in more effective ways like in many uh, good ways and uh, um, uh, if we will get a good prog program uh, documentation then uh, we can use it for various purposes also and uh, efficient coding so the uh, flowchart uh, it acts as a guide or blueprint uh, during the system analysis and program development phase and the uh, proper debugging so the flowchart it helps in a debugging process also and uh, efficient program maintenance so the maintenance of uh, this uh, program it becomes easy with the help of flowchart like it helps the um, programmer to put effort more efficient uh, uh, more efficiently on that part only like it will just uh, show us and uh, next we have uh, characteristics of flowchart so characteristics of flowcharts uh, here it shows the uh, sequence of instructions in a single program and uh, uh, it emphasizes individual steps and their interconnections we have different symbols that we are used uh, to draw a, uh, to draw each type of flowchart and start symbol as we know uh, start symbol it indicates beginning of program and end symbol it indicate end of the program and uh, this flowchart is uh, used to simplify complex uh, process to make it easy easy to understand the diagrams and uh, all that and we have a different shape uh, different shapes of boxes which are connected with the lines and arrows uh, uh, which are used to represent different steps in a process and uh, and here uh, complex uh, process have uh, have been like they can be uh, uh, visualized using flowchart with the problems and task like uh, if we, if you have a uh, project 
and uh, its process uh, can be implemented by like can be defined by using this sub uh, flowcharts and mostly uh, now uh, this uh, so microsoft word and excel are the most common softwares that we uh, that uh, use it to achieve um, uh, flowchart diagrams nowadays and that way we can say characteristics of flowcharts and and end, end of the chapter 5 thank you